<laughs> I was at the director's retreat and the director said, Naomi, <laughs> she ate with that monologue. Guys. Guys, I'm going to need to shower before power goes out at 8, so I have like 20 minutes. But as I was coming back from my run, I was listening to evidence. And I just want to remind you that you're the living proof, you know? You're the evidence. Don't go looking around, don't go shopping around to get other people's stories. It's just me. You're the evidence. You're living in answer prayer. I'm going to shower. <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is laura tapiwa if you're joining me for the first time hey what's up i hope you like it mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. what's happening to my english this morning i hope you like it enough here you like it here enough yeah i hope i hope you like it here enough to subscribe okay and if you're back for the second time i don't know how many times you've been here what's up cousin because we family over here I don't think I'm gonna redo that intro, guys, because you know, maybe she got close. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna redo that intro, guys, because you know, authenticity. <laughs> and I just also want to show you guys that people do mess up. Like we we do make mistakes. It's not every day that you see like a perfect intro. Sometimes I have to shoot it like three, four times. So I actually haven't showered because if there's no water, well, there's no water, so I'm going to wait for the water to come back. I actually have a bucket full of water because I kind of predicted this. Water has been very dingy this week, so I always have like a bucket full of water. So I'm going to give it like a few hours because yesterday it did come back around 10 a.m. So I'm just going to give like about a few hours and then wait for water to come back and then I'll shower. Um, the little five second clip you found was me working out with some people, guys. So I was going, I was on a run, I think on Tuesday. And then uh, I passed this route. And then this guy's like, hey, I'm like, hey. Because you know me, I always have a smile on my face. One thing about me. Anyways, like, hey, I'm like, he's like, would you, would you want to train with us? And I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, okay, we train every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yo, it's cool. Anyway, so we train every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'm like, okay. So yesterday I actually went because I got the dates wrong. When he spoke to me, I had an earphone on, and one of them was playing. So I kind of mixed up the dates. So I went today, and we trained. We did some sit-ups, some cardio. My, the cramp that got the back of my thigh. What is it called? I don't know what you call it. I'm sure it has a name. But the cramp that got it, guys. Even now, I feel like it's a bit crampy. So yeah. But I did enjoy it. I was starting to get bored with the running, guys, because I run a lot, same route every day. So now that I have to go and do different things with different people, someone else is like telling me what to do. I think it's quite exciting. And I'm really excited for that. I feel like God came through to me exactly what I need because I was getting really, really tired of running. So today's workout was very exciting. Anyway, guys, uh, I think you saw that little clip when I was clip when I was saying, you are the evidence. It's because Yesterday, I was feeling very gloomy. The past week, I was feeling gloomy, guys. Like, I was feeling like I'm losing my grip. And to an extent, I was. But I think, like, I was letting it. But what I learned from it is I can't express the extent enough that you need to have someone that is senior to you in whatever area you're trying to perfect. I can't stress this enough. Um, because I'm also trying to grow spiritually, I have a mentor. And it helped me so much that I texted her and I was like, I feel like I'm losing my grip. And after some while, after a while, they called me, spoke to me, you know, kind of reassured. I feel like after that call, I felt lighter. 
and then I went to bed and I woke up feeling happier. Like I can't express the extent that you need someone senior than you. I love my friends. My friends are there for me when I need them. But there is something about getting support from someone that has been with, through what you're going through and has conquered it. There is something different about it and I can't express the extent. Like if you guys don't have that, if you don't have anyone that you can approach, um, just try the basic following them on Instagram. Because one thing about people that are that have made it, they do post their success stories, they post how they did it, they post all of that. So watch it, watch it on YouTube, go and read. But I can't express the extent that you need someone that has overcome what you're trying to overcome in order to help you. Anyway, I also just want to remind you that you don't need to go around looking for evidence. You know that part of that song, Evidence? I feel like Naomi Rain ate with that, guys. The first part where she's actually talking, I was at the director's retreat, and the director said, Naomi, <laughs> she ate with that monologue. But yeah, I just want to remind you guys that you are the evidence. You don't need to go around looking for evidence to to things. I know we are taught sometimes, oh, look what God is in the neighborhood. God is doing for others. Look at what God is doing for you. How far have you come? You are living one of your answered prayers. Look at yourself from five years ago. Look at the things that you have overcome. Huh? And you want to go and look for evidence that God is a good God out there. Look at yourself. Come on now. <laughs> anyway, I am going to work now because it's Friday. It's one of my busiest days because I have to do reports. And, you know, it's just the weekend. So I need to make sure everything is done. I have no power, I have no water, but at least I boiled my tea. This green tea with my L cup. Still hot though. So I'm just gonna do a bit of work. I'm gonna do a bit of work on the couch here. Yeah? And then I'll move to the desk um, when the meeting's almost time. I'm not gonna do much work because like I don't have power. So I don't wanna uh, charge out my laptop until the meeting. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a beautiful time. I hope you guys are enjoying my vlogs. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. I talk about God a lot these days because one thing about God, my G. <laughs> anyway, I talk about God a lot these days because what happens when God moves you? Can't explain it, guys. I can't explain it. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying my vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. And oh yeah, the weight loss is happening. I feel like I am. I want so much to lose weight that I'm not seeing the progress that I'm making but I am making some progress today I weighed myself I'm 81 point point something I think on in March in February I was like in a plateau I was like around the 84s couldn't go down so now the fact that I'm in the 81s and I'm just there is good so I'm, I can't wait for me to be in the 79s 78s you know keep going down so it is working it's happening for me and I'm very grateful for that I'd be a fool if I didn't notice the change so yeah I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful, beautiful weekend and a beautiful year ahead. And yeah, let's continue with this vloggy vlog. <laughs> hey guys, morning. It's Saturday. I'm just about to. Sorry about that. I'm just about to blow dry my wig. I want to go to the mall. And I always. I'm going to put this in the Okay, it's the lowest. I always feel like it's better for me to go to the mall on Saturday mornings because, you know, it's before it's packed. So this right here is all my hair stuff, shampoos, conditioners, sprays, and all of that jazz. So I'm going to try to use this click thingy and this that I bought the other day. Yeah. So that I can go to the mall as quickly as possible. I like to go in the mornings, but I'm back home like in the afternoon before the mall is like hectic. But yeah. Let me blow dry my hair. Why are you guys so close to me? Huh? Did I zoom you in? Huh? That's better. That is so much better because why are you in my face? Okay, I washed it. It smells amazing, by the way. <laughs> Let me just brag about it on my own. This is not a heat protectant spray, it's just a spray. It 
smells, it smells amazing. I really didn't want to be straightening wigs so early in the morning, but it looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. It looks like that is my morning. Let me actually switch on the TV because might as well. The wig is straightened. Still looks a bit bulky because I haven't put a cap and stuff, but yeah, it's good enough. Uh, you see? Anyway, I'm going to prepare to go out. It's like 7 o'clock now, so I think I'll start preparing around 8. The mall opens at 9. Okay. I'm ready now. Um, I think I'm just going to put a bit of concealer or foundation here because I think washing it made it look some kind of way but i'm happy with the wig i'm happy with how it turned out this is actually a dragon city wig guys that i got like 2023 2022 i'm not sure but yeah um i am going sorry about the noise i'm gonna empty my bin because my phone is not fully charged and then when i'm back it should be like it's not fully charged it won't be fully charged still but it should have like better battery percentage and then we can go. I was having the debate with myself. I wanted to go to Santon City or Mall of Africa. I decided to go to Mall of Africa because I want quite a few things from Mr. Price. And I feel like the Mr. Price in Mall of Africa is bigger and has more things. So that's why I'm going to Mall of Africa rather than Santon. And yeah. Uh, aside from that, I will catch you guys when I'm back. Uh, let me just charge my phone and what else? I'm going empty out the trash.
guys i just got back home i took my week off and i am tired so i'm gonna rest and then we can do a whole lunch. i'll show you guys what i bought after i've rested but i am so exhausted so let me take a break <laughs> Guys, I am just getting ready for our home. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 ho. It's time for home. Let me get some water so that I can show you everything I got. Mm. Oh. Hello. Hello, good people. Welcome back. Okay, not welcome back. You guys have been on the channel. It's an ongoing vlog. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I got because I want to unpack. Um, this is stuff that has to go to Zim because it has to go to Zim. I bought these shoes for my sister. I got them from Pick and Pay. Yeah, I think they're quite gorgeous. <laughs> and the rest is baby clothes, guys. Let me take out the receipt before people come and be like, Start to judge what I bought them and be like, oh my god, you bought me something that was so cheap. But anyway, let me just show you guys in case you have some kids, hey? <sighs> let me just show you what I got. I got this little tracksuit. Look at it. Oh, so cute. Take off the price tag. <laughs> Here we go. And I also got this cute pants. <laughs> Our baby's born this small, like, I don't know, man. And then I got, what else did I get? Oh, yeah, I got this top. I just, yeah, the top was just an add-on. And then this onesie. Not the best fabric, actually. Um, but it will work. Oh. For my baby, and I got my baby a little headband. Oh. Oh, I'm going to have the sweetest baby, guys. I'm having a baby. I'm going to be my guru. I'm going to be my guru. But yeah, this is what I got. I'm just going to put that in there and just keep it in there. Now to move on to the things I overspent buying for myself. I bought this black pants from Fashini. I've been wanting, you know, those trending wide, li wide leg pants, guys. I've been wanting a pair. And I bought this pink ones from Mr. Price. Amazing fabric, amazing fit and everything. But I always can't find my size in the black ones. I even went looking for them. I couldn't find a size. But I really want them because I feel like this is my new look, hey? I feel like the pants. Let me just put this pants over there. <sighs> Be comfortable. I feel like the pants are my new look. I feel like that's what I want to go with you know and i couldn't find them and i really needed them so i ended up going to the sheeny bought them for 400 rand and these ones have this thing at the back which is perfect for people with like you know big behind but for me i don't know the fit was just weird mr price one's definitely better and then i also went for those half shoes i don't know what you guys called them i want a pair you see i want a pair like you know I think this is really stunning, if I should say so myself. And yeah, this was two thirty from Edgar's. I really like them. I feel like I want to be wearing. You see my pants with the half shoe. If you get it, just let me know if you get with my look these days. You know, but yeah, that's the look I'm going for now. Plus, I don't have pumps. I don't like pumps. And yeah, we apparently we are not wearing pumps anymore this day and age. So, <laughs> and then the rest is just the stuff you saw me try on at Mr. Price. Let me show you what I ended up getting. I ended up getting this top. I like the fabric of it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me just show you the inside out. It's like a t-shirt topish, but I like the fabric. You see? Yeah, I like the fabric. This was one twenty. Perfect for anything, actually. I got this thing for my weaves. Peer pressure, honestly, TikTok. Because I don't actually think I need that. I got this skirt. I don't have skirts, and I feel like I want to start wearing skirts. 
also and i really really actually fell in love with this one you guys saw me trying it on the pleated like skirt from mr price which is was 200 rand loved this one but i also ended up just getting the satin one because it also looked good on me i think on the pictures when i was trying it on it wasn't looking okay let me slow down on the pictures when i was trying it on it wasn't looking as nice but in real life it was nice so I ended up just getting it. This was 180. And you know, I feel like everyone just needs a certain skirt. I saw these pants. <laughs> I told you guys, I am in my palazzo like pants, wide leg pants era. These ones were on special. They're now going for 120 and they fit me perfectly. And one thing about me, if I see a red tag at Mr. Price, I'ma buy it. And then I got, remember my black dress? that I wear so much I got it in a different color because it's such and it's special it's 150 and I got it in a different color and I like it because like it's so easy to wear if I want to do errands I want to just get out such a quick throw on and that's why I bought it I bought a gym top because yeah um this was just 100 rand just a normal gym top top i like the things over here that it has i don't know if you guys can see that if you can focus but yeah i bought a gym top for 99 rand why does it mr price people pack the hanger oh i don't know but anyway i also i also got that and i got my what's this brand called <laughs> what's this brand called Come on, the one that Fushid and Mr. Price are giving us fake. Yo, that just shows my bank balance. Because surely if I had that much money, I would know what this brand is, hey? I need to actually figure out what this brand is because I'm going to buy the original at some point. So I also got those earrings. You, you know the thing about buying cheap earrings? You always buy earrings. Like, and I'm not mad about it. Like every time you go shopping, you just spend your and you pay of earrings. I'm not mad about it. Why do I feel like something's missing? <gasps> no! Okay. I bought these earrings for my grandmother. She's I used to steal my grandmother's earrings and they looked something like this. So I just decided to buy her a set. When I have money, I'll buy her from Brown. And I bought these jeans from Mr. Price. I actually tried on the size. One thing, one thing about Mr. Price jeans sizing. It's the worst, guys. One day you're a size 45. Okay, no, no, size 46 jeans. One day you're a size 28. Like, you can't order online at Mr. Price. That 38, 31, 32 doesn't look nice. I feel like the place I've gotten proper sizing for jeans was caught on every other shop. That's not a cheap shop, actually. <laughs> oh, Mr. Price for baby. Mr. Price. I've got a good sizing at uh, Refinery, Cotton On, Fashini is also good with their sizing. Like, what I mean is that if you feel like you're medium, Fashini actually, a lot of the time, size down. Their medium is kind of like a, it fits a lot of people. Like, I feel like with Fashini, but yeah, it's super small, small. You know what, guys? Every other shop that's not Mr. Price is good sizing. Mr. Price just goes crazy when it comes to pricing. So I got those skinny jeans. I need a pair of jeans. Don't drag me why I went to Mr. Price. One. It's cheap. Two, I don't wear jeans that much anymore. And since I'm not wearing it anymore, and I desperately need like an urgent pair of jeans, I wasn't going to go and spend like 700 on a pair of jeans when I could buy five things for 700. Cheap is expensive, I know. But I'm probably going to be wearing this like once, in, once every, once a month or something. I have other jeans, but I just desperately need a pair of skinny jeans. That I knew that fit, so that's why I got these. I actually need to try these on because I didn't. But yeah, that's all I got. Um, I brought some leftovers from Tasha's, so that's what I tried to snack on, but I couldn't finish it. And and now I'm having apples and water because it's almost time for me to start my fast. I still feel full, guys. I had that pasta from Tasha's and sparkling water. Sparkling water will get you full anyway i had that pasta i had like a quarter of it when i was at tasha's and then i came home and tried i was like okay let me eat because i'm gonna need some food i also like had like three forks and i was done 
and I'm just having apple and water just you know add something in my system for the night but I feel fine I feel very full so sparkling water is your girl so anyway the rest of the day I am binge watching Law and Order special victims unit and that's what I'm gonna do and I know my vlog is short and I know I did a lot of talking in this vlog but I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Also, last week I did a podcast of two videos. A sit down on the vlog. I'm thinking of starting to do this as a thing. Like a sit down video on the vlog. A sit down video. I'll see. But yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to just have to end the vlog here. Short, quick, straight to the point. This was our Sunday vlog. But I hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday. And I hope you guys have a beautiful week. I hope you guys don't forget to pray. And don't forget who God is and his promises in your life. And I just want to say, guys, I want to emphasize, I think I mentioned this again. I want to emphasize the importance of having people that are senior to you in a lot of things. That will help you a lot. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful week. And I hope you know that you're capable. And I know, hope you know that God loves you. The reason I... I'm reading on the promises of God is because when you trust God's plan for your life, it becomes easier when you know what He promises and what His word says about your life and what He has in store for you. It's easy to trust the God that said all things work together for good. Do you get? It's easy to trust the God that said He will never leave me nor forsake me. <laughs> it's easy to. So, do you get? When you feel like trusting God is hard, you kind of don't know. What his promises are even if you do remind yourself because why can i not trust someone that said whatsoever you ask believe in it's your i know how to say ask guys before you think but still imagine a god that tells you whatsoever you ask believe it it is yours god that goes and say if you and righteous know how to give your sons and daughters good things what more me the same god that gave us his own begotten son to die for our sins the sin that we are sinning every other minute it's very easy to trust god when you know that so i hope you guys remember who god is in your life and i was going to third month without drinking alcohol and i've forgotten about alcohol guys because the one time i went to cream guys i talk too much but anyway i live alone so i have nothing else to do except talk to myself aka talk to you guys i i think i've started Five different stories in the past minute but anyway rolling back what was i talking about i forgot but i want to say living alone does that i think the day before yesterday i was just sitting i was laughing first time i was like ah i could go crazy because <laughs> i don't know guys living alone, i was like ah. it's like the amount of times i talk to myself i don't think it's healthy to talk to yourself and to not communicate with people for that long so no man but anyway, I forgot what I was trying to tell you guys. Like, I forgot what I was... And I'm not going to play that to remember. I think I was talking about God and the promises. I was trying to end this vlog. Okay, it's, I've been talking to too, for, for too long. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys, please forgive my confusion at the end of the vlog. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Bye.